The governor of Borneo State, Baba Ganazalam, has distributed food, non-food items and cash to about 10,000 vulnerable households in Polka community of Goza local council area. The food items delivered are donated by the federal government to cushion the effect of hardship being experienced by survivors of the 13-year conflict. Senior reporter Jesse Tafida has details. The Zulu administration in Borno has continued to reach out to returnees and survivors of the 13-year conflict. Governor Baba Gina Zulum believes that providing such support will cushion the hardship experienced by people of the state. Today, the governor is in Polka community of Goza Local Council to distribute food, non-food items and cash. The food gesture is coming from the federal government, while the 220 million naira cash is from the state government. Reiterate the fact that these food items were given to the government of Borno State by the federal government of Nigeria. I want to commend the federal government of Nigeria under the leadership of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for coming to our aid at this very important time that people are referring to cultivate their lands. This is the main reason why we are here. In addition to what the federal government has provided, we are also providing 10,000 naira each to about 22,000 women in Fulka, Warabe, and Kirawa. Each of the 10,000 male heads of household received 50 kg bags of rice, maize grain and millet, while 22,000 women benefited from the 220 million naira cash and wrappers. All these are meant toward improving the means of livelihood of the people of Borno State. I also want to express my sincere appreciation to President Bola Tunubu for other support that we are receiving from his government. One recently has given approval for the take-up of the Federal College of Education, Goda. I want to commend the office of the Vice President, I want to commend NEMA, and I also want to commend the office of the NSA. Governor Zulim says he is committed to carrying out the distribution process as soon as the federal government's remaining palliative support arrived. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Pulka.